Hey there, it's Keith from Crypto Coin Mindset. I hope all is going well with you today. Today is Saturday, December 8th, 2018. And as always, we're going to go over some crypto news in today's video. So the market craziness just won't stop here with Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrencies overall. As of the recording of this video, Bitcoin continues to consolidate between $3,300 and $3,400. As you can see right now, we're at 33.91.61. As part of this craziness, there was a short squeeze yesterday, which brought the price up to just under that $3,600 range, which is a former support level, which is now a resistance level for us. And of course, that did its job and liquidated a large number of shorts. Believe me, I know I had a position that was liquidated. <laughs> That's what I get for walking away from the computer. Let's take a look at what's going on in the markets right now. So Bitcoin started out the day, as you can see, at just around $3,500. And like I mentioned earlier, it's trading just under $3,400 right now. But do I really have to ask the question as to where the market is headed? I'm not going to make any kind of calls on our next stop on the way down. The bottom line is that this market just remains bearish and there's no end in sight, at least as of the recording of this video. But remember, if you have the desire to succeed in this market, you can make money whether the market is going up or going down. If you can learn to do some trading in this market, the trend can be your friend, especially if you're on a platform that allows you to use leverage. Alrighty then, enough with that. Let's look at what's been happening in the cryptosphere. Though you may have already heard this by now, it bears repeating. The SEC has delayed their decision on the Van Eck and SolidX Bitcoin ETF until February 27th of 2019. So for those people in the space who are proponents of this ETF, this is not necessarily bad news. Why? Well, because they didn't just deny it outright. Let's be honest. And as an added potentially positive piece of news, the SEC's own rules say that they cannot delay their decision any further regarding these particular ETFs. They have to either approve them or deny them. While the SEC did deny nine other ETFs earlier in 2018, this doesn't mean that the writing is on the wall for a denial here. All right, so how about some more good news from the U.S. government regarding cryptocurrency? Personally, I say not. <laughs> so two U.S. congressmen have introduced two bills to help prevent cryptocurrency price manipulation. Now, this is nothing new. There have been regulations from various countries all over the globe when it comes to cryptocurrencies. But this week, it's about the U.S. So Thursday, Congressman Darren Soto and Ted Budd each introduced bills to Congress. These bills are basically intended to prevent the price manipulation of cryptocurrency and boost the acceptance of blockchain technology. These bills are called the Virtual Currency Consumer Protection Act of 2018 and the U.S. Virtual Currency Market and Regulatory Competitiveness Act of 2018. Yeah, that sounds like a mouthful. Oh, and by the way, a steaming pile of crap, too. Basically, they're trying to get the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, otherwise known as the CFTC, to regulate cryptocurrency. Let's face it, at the end of the day, they can't really regulate Bitcoin. All they can do is regulate us, the U.S. citizen. They can control the on-ramps for us to obtain Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency by either allowing or not allowing the purchase of certain cryptocurrencies, for example. I mean, look at the current status of trying to get into an ICO. You can't do it if you're in the U.S. And of course, let's not forget, they can control the way that it gets classified and taxed. I mean, right now, as of the recording of this video, it is classified as property and subject to capital gains taxes here in the U.S. Which is friggin' ludicrous. That needs to be changed. Okay, I'm gonna stop there before I really get going. Oh, and before I get people in the comments, yes, I am aware that there is currently other cryptocurrency legislation in front of Congress, one of which is an attempt to classify crypto as currency rather than property. But if you ask me, that's like closing the barn door after the horse is already out. Alrighty then, I'm going to move on now. Guess who's in the news again? Coinbase. 
I know, big surprise. We just have more and more coming from Coinbase every day. So it looks like Coinbase is exploring the possibility of adding some new coins to Coinbase Pro, which as you already know, is the professional trading platform side of Coinbase, formerly known as GDAX. As you can see from this list, there are some great projects that they're considering. So after Coinbase released that list, about four hours later, they added support for Civic, District 0X, Loom Network, and Decentraland. So we'll keep an eye on this and update you as Coinbase adds more assets. I hope you found this video helpful. I'd like to take a quick moment to ask you to give this video a like. It definitely helps our channel. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and then tick that little bell. That'll make sure that you get notified anytime we post a new video. Now, if you've been watching our videos, you know we don't put any of those silly ads on our videos. You know, the ones that you have to sit there and watch before you can see the content that people put out. However, we do have some affiliate links in our description below. I encourage you to check those out. We only put links to things that we use or invest in. And by using those links, it will help support the channel and allow us to keep putting out more great content. That being said, I hope all the investments you make are great. If you're a trader, I hope all your trades are profitable. And stay tuned for more crypto market updates. Take care.